Hi there, Stephanie Dahlquist with Remax West, located right here in West Michigan. I wanted to talk to you about five mistakes that sellers often make when they are listing their home. Number one, the first mistake that people make is that they don't go through and declutter their home. They're not opening up their closets and their drawers and organizing and getting rid of things. Um, it's a really big turnoff when a buyer goes to open a bedroom closet and everything comes falling out on them. They wanna be able to picture how they're gonna organize their items and picture their life there. Number two, you're gonna to wanna to go through and make sure that you clean your home thoroughly. If you have any pets, we wanna remove any pet smell that might be in the home. You know, you have some dog lovers, you have some cat lovers and hamster, whatever, any pet. But there are some people who do not like animals. So we wanna give it a nice, clean, crisp smell and also, you know, there might be some areas that we tend to miss on our daily cleaning. So we want to clean those up too, because all, you know, dust and all that kind of stuff, they kind of hold some smells. So that's number two, make sure you go through and clean your home. Number three, number three is curb appeal. Let's talk about the exterior of your home. When a buyer pulls up, you want them to have the wow factor. You want them to love how the exterior of your home looks because you know what? Everybody deserves to pull in their driveway and say, ah, oh, I'm home. I just love this place. So to give that buyer that feeling, we need to make sure that you go through and you trim your bushes, hedges, update all of your landscaping, make sure that it's refreshed and make sure that it's trimmed back so you can see all the windows and the home and nothing is overgrown. Oh, and mow your lawn. Number four, I know that you want to know what's going on when there's a showing at your home, but as a seller, you have to give the buyer privacy. So if you're will not willing to leave your home, it might take a little bit longer to sell. Buyers like to have quite their alone time in the home with their realtor to be able to talk about it. Yes, they're going to pick apart your home, but don't take offense to any of it because you know what? You may not like their taste either. So long story short, please don't be a helicopter seller and leave your home when there is a showing so that buyers and buyer's agents can have their own privacy to discuss. Number five, this is the most important. That's why I saved it for last. Number five, I'm going to talk about proper pricing. As our market is slowly shifting, we have tons of sellers who still think that they can shoot for the moon and the stars. Well, Yes, in some markets you can, and sellers still are receiving top dollar for their homes, but we are seeing a little bit more of leveling out. So a home, you know, yes, your home might have sold for a little bit more in the spring as it would now, doesn't mean that you won't get the best price for your home. And as your agent, we would definitely be shooting for the moon and stars and get you the best price because I want the most money in your pocket also. So you should talk to your local real estate agent to discuss what the best market value is for your home when it comes to pricing. And you should take their advice. Don't overprice your home. I hope you found these five tips very, very useful if you are thinking about selling your home. If you have any questions about them or any other real estate questions, don't hesitate to reach out. No obligation. I just love to talk about real estate day and night. All right. Talk to you soon.